called Snail Bob. Not, not Bob the Snail or a snail named Bob. Snail Bob. <laughs> It'd be like naming your baby boy uh, Human Jeffrey. It's an interesting concept. Now, this is not Human Jeffrey, which is disappointing, but fortunately, this game is pretty cool nonetheless. Snail Bob is an interesting little puzzle game based on your basic concept of, uh, oh, get the mollusk to the tube. You know, who, who hasn't done that? So this is a new release from Chilingo, and obviously the idea is pretty simple. You have to ensure Bob gets into the pipe, and you do that by manipulating objects in his environment. Levers, pulleys, springboards, strange insects cooking stew, and all these things have an effect on Bob, and in the right combination, they can save his life. I, I really like these kind of puzzle games, you know, the, the ones with these elaborate mechanical contraptions. It's kind of like Mousetrap and Lemmings, only you know, with less mammals and more bugs, lower life forms. They're, they're lucky a can of Raid isn't some unlockable weapon. Hey, bugs, the hairiest life forms are the scariest life forms. Now, there are 60 levels in Snail Bob, each progressively more challenging and elaborate than the last. Of course, there's a bit more to the puzzles than finding the exit, though. There are also three little stars hidden in each level, so as you're flipping your levers and operating machines, you have to find those stars as well. And the more you can collect, the more crap you unlock. Now, there's not much personality in a snail, at least of all one called Bob. I'm snail Bob, I'm sorry, but I guess that's the point. I mean, you know, Bob can't do this on his own. And thankfully, giving a helping hand is a lot of fun. I mean, you know, he doesn't have any hands of his own. It's Snail Bob, a fun puzzler with a slimy protagonist. <laughs> 